Hi and welcome to Watch and Work. Watch and Work is Contitech's series of service videos for automotive mechanics. In them you'll learn how to change timing belts on a great range of engines, simply, safely and quickly. The videos show the key working steps for workshop professionals. My name is Stefan Meyer and I'll show you a different vehicle engine in each video. The Watch and Work Asia Weeks continue. Today I have a mass market engine from a Kia Picanto. This is a 2005 1.1 liter 48 kilowatt engine with the engine code G4HG. And we're going to use timing belt kit CT1013K1. As with almost all of our engines, the timings have to be set. Once again, we have two marks that have to be adjusted. One on the crankshaft, a special mark, and one on our camshaft sprocket. On the crankshaft sprocket, you'll find a tooth with a recess on it and another recess behind it. The two marks have to be aligned with the lug at the start. On the camshaft sprocket you can see a notch. This has to be aligned with the lug at the back. First remove the two bolts from the sensor, loosen the tensioning pulley bolts and release the tensioning pulley with a screwdriver. The belt is now slack and can be removed. When fitting the new tensioning pulley, there is a special fitting position to use. There is a bore at the rear of the tensioning pulley. This has to be aligned with the dog at the rear. To fit the tensioning spring correctly, press the tensioning pulley counterclockwise to its end position and tighten the bolt in order to attach the spring. The spring must be positioned against this at the bottom. We then use a screwdriver to move everything past the tensioning pulley lug until it engages properly. Before fitting the new belt, please check the remaining components. The crankshaft and camshaft sprockets are solid sprockets, but they could wear and then damage the belt. Now fit the belt. Starting at the crankshaft sprocket, follow the line of the belt drive counterclockwise, passing round the camshaft sprocket, the tensioning pulley and back to the crankshaft sprocket. To tension the timing belt, loosen the tensioning pulley bolt. The spring presses the tensioning pulley against the timing belt, then refit the sensor. Before checking the belt tension, retighten the bolt. Next, turn the engine over twice in the direction of engine rotation and check the timing mark. OK, almost done. You now just have to check everything has been reassembled. Follow the manufacturer's specification, particularly when it comes to the torques. Remember, gently does it. Don't forget the quality mark. Remember to place our change sticker in a clearly visible location in the engine compartment.